my channel. Today I wanted to share a quick review with you um, on the Teaching Textbooks Pre-Algebra 2.0. So I went ahead and bought this curriculum for my 8th grader. I opted out of the CD version because, well, most of you guys know, I'm a total math geek and I wanted to go ahead and teach math to my boys and that way in case they end up on a problem that they don't quite understand, I'm able to work, you know, through that problem with them and help them out. So that is my reasoning why I did not buy the CD version. I didn't feel I needed it, honestly. So that's something that you guys are going to need to decide for yourself. But this is going to be my personal opinion of this curriculum. Please remember that Again, this is my opinion. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is the binding of the book. I was a little disappointed with this binding, especially for the price of this curriculum. I didn't feel it held up as much as I wanted it to. It is made from a really flimsy plastic and we found that over time, the bindings started busting and we're starting to lose coils. And we're pretty nice to our curriculum. We treat it with really great respect. And overall, I just didn't feel like it held up as much as I was hoping it to. But of course, that's not going to affect the actual content itself. I just wanted to go ahead and share that. So the other thing I did want to talk about is teaching textbooks does, it is a very repetitive curriculum. So you're going to continue to learn old concepts that you had learned in the past, which is fantastic. I absolutely love math curriculums that go ahead and do that so that it always keeps it fresh in your mind. So one of the only issues that I had with the lessons themselves was that you have about 30, roughly about 30 problems per day with your problem sets and only five to seven of those problems were about the daily lesson. So that's not, for my son, that was not enough to really grasp the concept that he learned that day. So I did find that I ended up having to supplement a lot, especially when we did start getting into those bigger pre-algebra questions. I was constantly pulling in other material to help him remember those math facts. So that is something that I didn't really care for with this curriculum. But let's talk about the lessons themselves. Honestly, I loved, I really, really loved how they put their lessons together. I felt that they put them into great detail and it was very, very easy to understand. And not only that, but they broke it down into really, really simple steps for each lesson. So for lesson 11, finding the lowest common denominator, we've got literally a full page back and front and a little bit on the second, just talking about how you can multiply them together, finding the lowest common denominator, and it walks you through absolutely everything. So I do love that they do that. Another great thing about teaching textbooks is let's say you get on to, let me find an older, or sorry, excuse me, a newer lesson. Okay, we'll say practice um, lesson 43. Let's just say that your student has forgotten how to add or subtract decimals. So what you'll notice, let's see if I can bring this up closer. What you'll notice right next to the problem number, right under it, you're gonna see a number in parentheses. That's gonna tell you lesson 18 is going to tell you how to work through this problem. So I can flip to lesson 18. And sure enough, it is that actual lesson that's going to reteach you if you have forgotten a concept. So I also loved that you get an answer key and test bank along with it. So this was really easy to correct my son's work with and go ahead and, you know, help him with anything that he doesn't understand. So that was my personal opinion on teaching textbooks 
pre-algebra 2.0. I hope that you guys found this helpful in you know, your search for curriculum for your own kiddos. And until next time.